Uh, what's on my Call of Duty beta testers? I just don't understand why we have to suffer. Everybody's going off. You do not know what's about to come, guys. Just check this little clip, and then we're gonna watch the full gameplay roll. It's your zones. There is almost no way that you are going to survive by yourself. This is a yeah. very social game, and I think a lot of people will Introverts left the chat! If you're an introvert, get well, one Okay, I'm an introvert as well, but guys, what you gonna do about it, okay? Actually, Play have this. a lot of fun with that, but it is not for solo players is what yeah, I found. There we go. Solo play there we go. Quickly after this, brothers went into coma. The homie Mr. T likes to fire big, big zombies player, right? Big zombies player. Let's go for five likes on the video. Round base fans on my timeline right now. Everybody's getting diarrhea right now. Yeah. <laughs> We have the homie Tom Sunnykid, uh, who says that year after year we're left disappointed. How the F was the greatest game mode ever created as a last minute easter egg, yet now they had the whole lead time of that game to make something epic and they fumble to F. I mean, 3000 devs guys, uh, homie's crying in chat, homie's getting tired of seeing this, and we got the homie Noah J456 as they would like to call it, and he ended up getting the entire gameplay walkthrough, and I gotta be honest guys, it do be kind of looking kind of odd. Stop the cap. Am I coping? Find out next. Ladies and gentlemen, I just got back from Treyarch where I just played MW3 Zombies early and yeah. also received a USB containing the footage you are seeing on screen, the very- And also Call of Duty points as a payment. World's first gameplay of MW3 <laughs> Zombies showing you guys what it is, including this oh absolutely God. insane wonder weapon that they've yeah. added in the, this game. Okay, that Alongside good. That the returning good. rig on the Wonder Waff, this is the brand new one though. Damn. And it looks like it absolutely smokes zombies. This is Noah from the future. I forgot like three really, really important things to include in this. PhD Flopper is back. Oh, damn. Absolutely fuck. Tombstone is back. I hate my life. And then also, there's a zombie mastery camo grind that you can do for all guns from MW2 and MW3. There okay, first impression, bro. The, zo the zombies trailer reveal was absolute trash, though. This one is looking kind of odd. Maybe I'm coping. There's essentially all of it is available in the game. They were like, this is super hard to put in, but it's something we really cared about it putting in. So zombie camo grind for but all no the solo guns. Player, anyway, bro. back Holy to you. Anyway, God. we're going to be talking about everything that they told us about this game mode, including some secret stuff that we asked them and they actually oh, ended up answering, like about the Easter egg quest and everything like that. But the best way I can describe this is that people that love Black Ops 3 zombies, at least for the custom zombie maps that are going to be created in the future, at least those people are going to get content from Modern Warfare 3 zombies into custom zombies. Bruh. Let me That's just first talk about what is this game? Like, how does it work? What does it play most like? I would say that this game is a battle royale map. It is literally on the battle royale yeah, map for this game because eventually there is a- King Kong? Bro, that's King Kong. Oh, <laughs> Yo, they even recycle Abomination from Black Ops Cold War. Holy mother of God. Three years, 3,000 devs. This is the most recycled DLC patch I've ever seen though. Now, to a certain degree, it's kind of looking decent. I would say that if you have ever played Modern Warfare 3, 2011, the OG one, and if you ever played survival in that, it's simply that, but on a bigger scale. On the zone game. after one hour, the game sessions are one hour after one hour, a zone starts spreading and you better get on a helicopter or you just get left behind and you die. There's no extracting out. But I am saying extracting because it is also an extraction based game. Yeah, damn. If you no do not extract boys. out, you die at the very, very end. However, that means that if you extract out with stuff, you can take that into your next game. So what do I mean by that? You can it's find a perk can in this game. You can complete an objective, and if you get really lucky, you get a case that has a ray gun in it, and that just goes oh, in your wow. inventory. And you can choose to pop that case and get the- Yo, throw that Semtex on the circus tail, though. Ray gun or instantly. Like or you can try to extract out a <laughs> helicopter with it and essentially load into your next game with Yo. that, use up that consumable and load up in the next Whoa, what, what? I stuck in love. Damn. I yeah, say that damn. because it's an extraction game as well. This game is most like, you know, Outbreak gameplay with an extraction spin on it. Essentially, if you like DMZ and you don't like fighting against other players, you are going to love this mode because it is all against AI. There are 24 other, like, real-life humans sitting and gaming in their chairs. 24 humans in every single match, but none of them can shoot you. None of them can hurt you. You are playing against the environment. You were just playing against the zombies. You were just playing against the AI humans that are running around. And essentially, here's the game mode. Here's how it works. You load in. You, you, everybody loads in all around the map. In the Let me tell you how it works. First, you gotta pay $70, okay? Bruh. Then you go in to zombies menu, you download the Warzone map, and then the, the steps that this brother is saying, that's how it's gonna start. Basically, tier one zone. This is the super, super easy zone. 
everyone is going to be able to survive, you would really have to be absolutely terrible at zombies to die in the tier one zone. Yeah. And essentially, yeah. you all spawn in there, and everybody just individually starts looting up and like getting objectives completed, buying some perks, maybe pack a punching ones. Dog, they killed zombies. To so to a certain degree, though, if I'm looking at this without zombies in my mind, it can be fun. It can be good. It can be decent. But they kill zombies. Back in the days, we would have zombie maps, we would have zombie crew, you could even pause the game, like, bruh. bruh. We would have, uh, they would have proper zombie maps, now these suckers be using Warzone map, these suckers deadass couldn't even make a zombies map. Bruh. These suckers, this is gonna get so, like, repetitive though, it's gonna be good for, like, maybe playing once or twice, but that's about it. What about solo players though? May, but but if you're gonna play this as survival, it looks kind of fine. And essentially, once you're aspect. all set up in the first zone, whether that be you know ten minutes, but whether they it take twenty minutes, you want to basically speed run the first zone, get ready and go into the second zone where the zombies are gonna be higher level. This is like round fifteen, round twenty. Zombie is equivalent in terms of how much health they have and how set up you want to be. Once you get in this zone, rewards are better, more points, everything is better in this zone. But the zombies are also more dangerous. You're also gonna start running into some mini bosses like the Mangler, stuff like that that are just gonna pose more of a threat to you. You have to really stick with your team because this game mode Man. is, I would say, a very social game mode you yeah, want to load in with friends and if you load in by yourself yeah introverts left the chat boys uh, say goodbye if you're an introvert man holy no love for my introverts out there i swear to god i'm gonna find y'all bozos okay you really want to just kind of like join up with a random team and try to request to join their squad which you can do you can get up to six player squads but if you're going into the you know high tier zones there is almost no way that you are going to survive by yourself. This is a yo. Is this like a pack a punch camo or like a twenty dollars bundle? Like I'm not sure. Bruh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, to be honest, it gotta be pack a punch camo. But if it happens to be, I know it's a pack a punch camo. But if it turns out that this is not a pack a punch camo, I'll dead ass be shocked. Very social game, and I think a lot of people will actually have a lot of fun with that. But it is not yeah. for solo players, is what yeah, I found. That's, solo go, play boys. is is oh not. You're not. It's not balanced for it. Essentially, it's balanced. Yeah. For playing around. Yeah, he's not gonna give his opinion though. Like he's not gonna say it's trash or V demands for solo players though. He's not gonna say that because if he does that, he is his ass will be bumble. Bumblecut! He will never be invited out by Treyarch though. This is why do not trust any reviews, man. I love Noah, but bruh, on these specific reviews, early gameplays, I don't trust his ass. And nobody should trust anybody's ass, even if it's my ass that gets invited out for early access. Nah, son, like do not <sighs> Never, bro, never, because if he speaks his mind, he will never be invited out. And he wants to be invited out, so he will never speak his mind. Especially like Biden right now, he's spitting facts. Uh, and it can be very, very fun. Like, we, we had an absolutely massive squad. All of us driving cars and just running over, like, hordes of zombies. It was really, really... But right here, it, it's looking kind of good, though. If I, if I think of this way, that like, this is a zombies map, and this is not Warzone map, because obviously it's a it's new Warzone map, right? So it's kind of feel kind of fresh in a way, but once you start playing uh, Warzone and once you start playing this map, it's it's gonna get pretty repetitive. But in this area, it's looking kind of uh, kind of nice though. Really fun. And then when you go into the tier three zone, which is obviously the most dangerous zone, that's when it starts getting real. That's when you start seeing the absolute elites. You start seeing the uh, mega abominations that have an absurd amount of health. You really want to be set up for these zones, but obviously you get the highest tier loot and everything like that. Now you're gonna be able to pick up plates. Plates are in this game. That is the armor system. Essentially, you can you can get jug, but you also can get plates. Like the plates uh -huh. are really gonna be what protects you from everything. You're gonna plate up if you get hit too many times. <laughs> Bumbocat! Oh Run that back! You was that? Like, the plates are really gonna be what protects Tim? Is that Tim the Tadman? Oh, no, okay, my bad, my bad, bruh. bruh. I, I don't think it's Tim the Tadman, but it looks like him. You're gonna plate up if you get hit too many times. Yeah, yeah, they, they removed Timmy, and, and maybe they kind of turned him into, like, a dollar store version, though. Maybe they changed his face. You're not something. gonna want to take too much damage in the later zones because the zombies clap you, and if you have no plates, you die in, like, yeah, a couple of hits. You, it's bro. really, really punishing if you don't have plates. Plates are very, very important for yeah, this game. Plates. Um, no the humans, plates, no the game. zombies, they all will fight each other. Essentially, if you lead a horde of zombies into the humans, they all immediately start brawling now these humans are rolling around on the map like you see on screen right here what they have my boy kapoor sing what ding 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 ding
start. They're gonna roll around. They're gonna stop if you start shooting at them. But you can go to different fortresses. You can literally, it's pinpointed on the map where the human strongholds are. You can assault those. You can completely avoid them. It's basically like if you don't wanna interact and engage with the humans, you really don't have to. They are gonna kind of do their own thing and chill unless you engage them. If you get close to them, they're gonna attack. They are hostile. Okay. But it is possible to just completely avoid them and uh, you know, just drive past them, everything like that. That's one thing I will say. Driving around is super, super fun because yeah. it is by far the best way to kill the zombies. Also, you're going to see yeah, here them like, way, throwing huh? some monkey bombs into the other human AIs and getting the zombies. At that point, it's not zombies. It's like uh, auto... Nah, it's okay. I was going to bring something to bruh. Okay, I have to know though. I'll be yeah. horrible to go over there and attack them and just create I'm a distraction leave it in the video. they're all Whatever, just chilling on the, on the bridge. It's pretty... Pretty, it's pretty entertaining. It's pretty funny. Um, but the, the humans are going to have their own rewards. The zombies are going to have their own rewards. You can basically play it how you want to. All of the stuff you're doing in this map is basically around getting stronger. You want to do contracts, which are things like, you know, go here and assassinate this, like, mini boss. Go over how here and, feel? like, how activate these on ether it? miners. Whatever the objective may be, they're all going to just give you, like, a random reward, as well as a bunch of points that you can use to spend on pack punch and everything like that. Uh, guns. Let's talk guns. Weapon rarities. Weapon rarities are back. There is, obviously you start with like your gray one that you can see on screen, then you can go to green, you can go to blue, you can go to purple. Okay, I, I mean, I can actually like hate on it, but, but honestly though, like, if I forget zombies though, it looks quite decent though. It doesn't look too bad. Oh shit! Oh, shit. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, but as a zombies fan, as a zombies fan that I used to be for, let's just say, Black Ops 2 zombies, Black Ops 3 zombies, Black Ops 1 zombies, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I guess those days are long gone. It, I'm quite disappointed with that, I'm quite sad with that. I used to be a big fan, man, I used to be a big Zombies fan, I still am a Zombies fan. It's looking nice on its own, let's just say, but I guess those days are gone, guys. Like, if you're a Zombies fan, you love playing solo, you love playing with, with your squad, like, four people. I love the fact that this time they had actually made it six, though, I, yeah, it's fine, it's fine, like, 24 people. But, but, but those days are long gone. And then you can go to gold, Maybe and then you have year? your like hyper rares, which are your wonder weapons and stuff like that. Those are like I guess the I'm, gold tier. I guess I'm gonna kill all my hopes for it. Like, I, there's no point. If it turns out to be good next year, if zombies turns out to be actually zombies next year, uh, that we know and love, then yeah, fine. I mean, modes like that are fine too. It's just that you you guys gotta do zombies justice, and you can. This should have been a bonus where you can play zombies on Warzone. This is not problematic. This is not problematic. Toxic. This is not like a bad move or bad gameplay mode. It's just that I prefer original zombies. You can have original zombies, and on top you can have this as a bonus, right? Like new content, and then you can have remaster as a bonus. But this entire game is recycle. Uh, I don't know, man. It's gonna get pretty repetitive, and the hype's gonna die down pretty fast. Even above everything like else. This. So, uh, yeah. obviously those are the best, but you have to get lucky. Mystery Box is on the map. Perk Machines are on the map. Wonder Fizz is on the map. Uh, essentially, everything that you would expect in a round-based zombie mode is on the map in some capacity. Uh, you can upgrade your armor slots by actually just picking up armors. Like, there will be armor, like you know, slot holders, you can pick those up and upgrade your armor slot holder and there's uh -huh. new drops like full armor right there, which is actually going to fully restore your armor. Uh, essentially, all the normal power-ups, the pickups, uh, the point system, everything like that is kind of what you would expect if you played Outbreak. All the stuff works yeah, they're keeping like, the obviously, if you get an insta-kill, yeah. it's not going to affect everyone on the map, but all the people you're like immediately around will get that insta-kill as well. So. All of that stuff is to say, uh, again, this is not a solo style mode. You're yeah, going to want to roll with friends and play against <laughs> all of the enemies on the map. Um, as you can oh, see, no. these people are in the farthest out zone <laughs> initiating an exfil. You can exfil from any, any area. <coughs> Man, those days are going, why, why, bro? Basically, they want to make it like really accessible to any you know play style. If you have really really bad friends, you can just stay in. Stop the Stop cap, the bro! You literally said that any any play style, literally solo people cannot play this. How is it accessible for the most amount of people, bro? The first zone, or if you want to go over and explore and try to find some Easter what? eggs and stuff like that, you can do that as well. Let's talk about the Easter eggs. So essentially what they said is yeah. all around is the it? map are going to be a ton of Easter eggs. There's going to be a lot oh, of stuff to find, man. a lot of things to do, a lot of like, you know, yeah. if you know, you know type things. However, there is going to be no main Easter egg. Yeah, that, I, I was kind of going to... Uh, 
expect to not ask. I was expecting there won't be a main either. Okay, small ones, okay, that's cool. But main, no main easter egg, yeah, there you go, bro. What about Greg FPS, though? Greg FPS, what about him? He loves uh, easter eggs, though. He loves easter eggs. Like, you guys like easter eggs? Well, too bad. Me ain't getting it at all. I personally don't necessarily care for, like, main easter eggs, though. Uh, I, I love the Darius and Drakha easter egg. I love story. Don't get me wrong, like Mob of the Dead Easter Egg, for example, great story. Not talking Blood of the Dead, that Easter Egg was tedious though. But 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 I don't necessarily do Easter Eggs. I'm a high round player. I love playing zombies. I love training. I love the lore of zombies. Small Easter Eggs, I love them because small Easter Eggs are something you do not need to do. You can just find them, and it's it it's it feels kind of good though. So I I like that aspect about it, but. Main easter egg, that's just pure laziness. Even though I don't do it, I know for the fact, the reason they cut it, the reason is simple, the laziness, that's what it is. Upon launch, like the first map, what you're watching here, there's gonna be no main easter egg. But instead of a main easter egg, they essentially are gonna have very like, guided missions that I would say that are gonna tell you the story. Like you go into the mission, it tells you what to do, and essentially at the end of that, you're gonna get cutscenes and stuff like that. There's three acts from what it sounded like. If you complete all the acts, you've essentially seen the whole story. On oh. top of that though, and, and kind of like some bright, some good bright news is that they are, you know, teasing and we didn't see any of it. There's no gameplay of it yet, but we saw in the very, very first trailer, there is actually a huge, huge world boss. And they basically alluded to like these world bosses, you better bring everyone in the server, like go around, collect everyone in your cars and go take on these world bosses because they are going to be incredibly difficult, which good. I, I want there to be like a really, really hard, like big challenge, but it is, it is basically going to be like the in-game, in-game type stuff. They talked about in-game and they said there is in-game stuff to get. Now, let's talk about that. What does in-game actually look like? So there are going to be very, very rare, like schematics and blueprints that you can actually find that are not one-time use. Once you get them and you extract out with them and then you craft them, essentially you can have a ray gun spawning into your match and once you do it once, it doesn't go away. It just goes on a cooldown. So the ray gun, they said 40. Yeah, that, this pack of bunch camera looks sick though. I, I gotta agree. I mean, there are, nowadays it's very rare to find something that looks I, I good. The only thing that looks good is a $20, $30 bundle. So I'm really, really shocked that this is not a $20 bundle and it looks quite nice for, for a zombie camo. The weapons are looking good as well. Uh, the weapons are sounding good as well. Gunplay, gameplay. I mean, listen, Call of Duty gameplay is always 60 FPS. It's good. It, it's smooth. I always like that. Sometimes the speed is some slow. Uh, that's where a lot of people talk about it. That's where a lot of people complain about. So overall, like, I'm not too mad or not finding that problematic. It's just pure laziness like everything just feels recycled that's like the biggest issue right now everything feels recycled lazy devs right now uh and, and bundles gonna overtake the game later on as well and zombies just does not feel like zombies it's literally dmz warzone like if you like warzone i mean you're probably gonna like this i guess Eight hours for the ray gun uh, obviously that might change before launch but initially they said 48 hours would be the cooldown for the ray gun and then you can get stuff and you like can craft much easier stuff like much easier to get but also easier to craft and lower cooldown is just like increase your weapon rarity by one whatever your rarity is you just spawn in with that in your inventory you can craft that once every like two hours this was the example they gave uh -huh. um uh -huh. storyline where does this story actually set it is set in the modern warfare universe we're gonna see like the soaps of modern warfare we're gonna see uh all the cold war characters and stuff like that come back and Okay, here's the thing, right? I feel like that this story is gonna set up for the next Call of Duty 2024 game, but this is gonna be Modern Warfare. Uh, the next Call of Duty game is gonna be Black Ops, but it's gonna be in Gulf War, so that's gonna be like the 90s, if I'm not mistaken. Gulf War was in the 90s or what? Like early 2000s? I, I could be wrong, okay? History was not my, my favorite subject, okay? Bruh. So let me know in the chat, but, but, but zombies, I know for the fact that zombies is never on the same time frame as the campaign and the, the 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 game setting for example black ops 3 was near futuristic but zombies wasn't really near futuristic we were going back in time this and that right so is it gonna be the same but here's the thing right i feel like that it's not gonna be the same because they are literally so lazy that they they don't even have a zombie map so they're using warzone and warzone is like modern time so it's like current time modern warfare like that so i think this zombie storyline is gonna be modern time so this is where i'm like i'm not sure how this is gonna 
promote the upcoming Call of Duty 2024 game. I'm not sure how this is going to tease the next game. Maybe there will be something that will that will happen in it where we're going to be like, okay, so, okay, this happened. What does it mean? Like, so how did we get up in here? Okay, what was uh, what happened in the past and maybe what happened in the past is something that we're gonna find out in Gulf War or maybe Black Ops Gulf War next year Zombies is gonna have its own timeline where it's gonna be in the future or in the future the future or modern time And it's gonna be after this one. We're gonna find out very soon and recently guys this uh, click on this video on the screen This was my initial reaction to the Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer gameplay and let me tell you I don't know when click on it and I'll see you right